In this video, we'll create the component that will drive the entire system. The reason we're designing the skill tree to be driven by a component is for ease of integration and ease of use. This way, when you need to add the system to a new project, you just add the component to the class it should go on and you're done. It's fully integrated into that game. And when you need to make tweaks, Having to dig through the system, open up all sorts of subfolders and subsystems, trying to remember how everything is designed and where everything is, it's nicer to just have all the controls in the component in one centralized place. So this approach solves those issues. It makes sense to put this component on the player controller because it's a UI-based system which only needs to be shown to the owning client. So we're starting in a blank project here and we'll start by adding the skill tree pro folder because this is a modular system we're going to keep everything in this one folder and we'll start by creating a new folder under the skill tree pro called components and we'll right click here bl blueprint class and we'll go down here to actor component and we'll call it bpc skill tree PC for blueprint component skill tree player controller and right click on the component and go to create child blueprint class open it up close it and open it again and now you see the nice class defaults view that takes up the whole thing and in this default category is where all of our tweakable parameters will be in the future let's go ahead and close it and because it's a new project, we'll need to set up a map. If you add this system to your game, you won't need to do this. So we'll create a maps folder. I've already done that here. And then we'll create a new map. You can just go to file, new level, and then basic map. And that's what you see behind me here, create. I've already done that. And then you can set the map to the default. If you're just following along, you can go into project settings, maps and modes. And you can see I've already set it to all the defaults, so it's just always the map in this project. So now we have the map here. We're going to create a player controller so that we can add this component to it. So right click, blueprint class, player controller, and I'll just call it PC. We'll go into world settings, open it up, and you can see we need a game mode to add the player controller to this map. So we'll right click, blueprint class, and game mode base, and I'll just call it GM. And we'll add those over here on the map, GM, PC. And now all we need to do is open up our player controller and add the component, skill tree, and here it is. We can compile and close. So now we've set up our project and implemented our component, which will run this whole system. In the upcoming videos, we'll create the skill tree widget and then use this component to create a customizable way to open and close that widget. Mm -hmm. 